Um, you may remember, uh, yeah, over email, we had a conversation about isotopes, and you promised to show me some data from your anomalous isotopes. You remember that conversation? Yes. Did you bring them? Um, yes, uh, yes, I, 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 I have them, uh, uh, I have them in my briefcase. May I go to yes, get them? I forgot the book, the book uh, of Carter, uh, with the situation of Carter. Okay, about the isotopes. Here we are. Um, will, will you be able to give me copies of this? Or yes, I, I can give you copies of this, okay. yes. This is a test. Uh, are we in transmission already? Yes, yes, hmm? recording. This is uh, the, the test made with the SIMS. SIMS is the secondary ions mass spectrometer. Here you can see uh, the sample of original nickel, and, and, uh, and, these, um, and here you have the isotopes which have been uh, measured. And this is the the, the, the nickel after three months of operation. Now, if you go in the X, uh, Y is X, if you go in the X uh, and you go to the number uh, uh, of, of nickels, of, of nickel, which are the numbers around between 58, 60, 61, 62, 64, and uh, um, if you check the numbers at, uh, at the mass 58, 60, 61, 62, 64, so you have to go every line 60, 61, 62, etc., etc., you can see that there are slight differences. Um, this means that we have found slight differences in the isotopic composition. Of course, we are calling, we are uh, talking of very slight differences. Which, which isotope? 64? Or all, all of them around 64? Uh, b uh, yes, um, uh, we later, so these are the uh, graphics I told you when we made that conversation through email. Yeah, yeah so uh, I, I, I missed it, it was a little unclear. You, did you say you had anomalies in the isotopes from nickel 58 through nickel 64? Um, um, no, mainly, mainly the 64, mainly the 62 and 64. 62 and 64, okay, great. Yes, mainly in the 62 and 64, yes. And where do, where do we see? So, um, uh, yes, it is, it, uh, you, have, uh, to, uh, you have to measure the, the heights of the peaks. Um, okay, I, so 60, 62, 62, 61. 60, 61, 62. 62 is here, and it's about uh, 10 to the 4. And 64, uh, and 64 is there. You will see slight differences. I can give them to you, oh. okay? Okay, well. I can also look at it in more detail later. So I look carefully at the difference between 62 and 64. Basically, uh, but uh, besides this, uh, we noticed, uh, we, we learned that uh, the atoms which work are the 62 and 64. Therefore, we studied and found a system to enrich the nickel, to uh, enrich it of 62 and 64, because we noticed that uh, uh, they are the ones that uh, can make uh, transmutation. Even if uh, uh, also um, the other atoms of uh, nickel are useful, but not for transmutations. Okay, very good. Thank you so much. You are. Thanks for bringing that. Um, 
Now, I remember looking at your paper and um, from, from last year, and uh, on one of the pages you have a table that shows your results of uh, about five different experiments. Um, you remember the table I'm talking about? It shows the energy out over the energy in. I remember. And then, um, well, here actually I have some of that uh, presented in a table. Um, uh, this top part here, this is uh, taken from, you, re you recall these dates, you see it's familiar. Um, and this is basically a reproduction of that and it shows uh, uh, the output over output over input ratio and then your excess heat and then excess energy. Mm, these tables have been made by Focardi. Focardi, okay. Yes. Um, in any case, what I now, um, I independently from number by number, what it is clear is that we uh, got an excess of en an excess of energy, an excess uh, an excess of it. Consider that uh, during these experiments, uh, we have also uh, excesses higher than the ones that we have now okay. for, for, for a simple reason. This is what um, we made in a laboratory where uh, um, we, we had not the problem to do a, a product with all the uh, safeties necessary to go to the public. So basically, as you have seen yesterday, the ICATS that we produce now have, a, have an excess, which is six times, an output, which is six times the input. There you can find more than that, because, uh, because we uh, work in more uh, stressed situations. So the, the, the numbers on here, the, this is uh, two, 200 times. To yes, the average here is 200 yes, times out, but, out, out Yes, plus. but, uh, but average, we cannot work in a product right. for the public in that way. So I, I was able to look at the data from three reports that had a, a clear collection of data. Uh, the two from Mats Lewin and the one from Essen and Kuhlander. And it looks like uh, they show uh, a ratio of uh, 10 times. Yes, uh, consider that we guarantee to our customers six times. Yes, it's correct. Uh, um, of course, uh, you have seen that uh, the, the excess that has been measured in laboratory during our stress, uh, stress tests is much higher than the ones measured in the ECATS. But ECATS are products that have to guarantee an extreme uh, margin of safety. Okay. And so the difference you say is because uh, the, the, um, the, the older ones, they, they didn't have the safety controls on them. The, the other ones were destined to, to our tests, not to be, to be used by, by, by the customers. So it, it is like, you know, a, a racing car and, uh, and an average car to put in the street. And so the reactor that you plan to sell, um, what ratio do you Six. use? with an enormous margin of safety. Okay, so my, my question, just to make sure. So you were expecting to have a, uh, a, a, um, a ratio of uh, six times output to input? Perfect. Okay. Just to make sure, I don't want to make a wrong. You have understood perfectly. Um, the research at the uh, University of Bologna, you have, you've contributed 500,000 euro, right? Uh, we are making a contract, not, uh, not yet, but we, we are making a contract. Uh, we are very close to the signature of the contract. Uh, we will finance a research and development program to the University of Bologna. Yes, the budget is 500,000 euros. Can you say just a little bit, not a long, but just a little bit about what the expectation, uh, what the plan is for that? For that investment? We want to, um, we want to, 
to uh, study uh, more on uh, the, the, the effects uh, on the reactors uh, to increase their efficiency, uh, maintaining the same safety margins. So this is the, the, the first goal. Uh, besides that, uh, we want to indicate on the theory which, uh, which, uh, um, uh, which uh, uh, I have reached now, but uh, um, you know, uh, theories are named theories uh, because are theories, and uh, in, in such as uh, a theory as such never is uh, uh, never is ultimate because if not is no more as a theory but is called a rule. Until a theory is not a rule, you have to work on it. Okay, very good. I think. Um well, I think we may have gotten all my questions. Let me just double check. Um, yeah. I crossed off a lot because we already covered them yesterday. A lot. Of, of course, during yes, of course, I understand perfectly. We already made a, a good piece of interview yesterday during the. Okay, then I only have two, two final comments or questions. Right. One is, is there anything else that I didn't ask you, that I should have asked you? Yes. Uh, I would like that you ask me uh, where mainly I want to develop this technology. Okay. Where mainly would you like to develop this technology? In the United States of America. Why? Uh, because uh, I owe a lot to the United States of America yeah. and uh, uh, I owe a lot to the United States of America for personal reasons uh, because uh, uh, because first first of all the idea uh, about my first factor which is pressure came to me in the United States of America uh, when I studied a, a paper uh, in the University of New Hampshire where I was working on, uh, on the Seebeck effect in uh, 19, uh, uh, 19... in the first 90s, I don't remember exactly, but in the first 90s. And, um, and I love this country. Uh, I reside in the United States of America, I love this country. I, I, I really would, 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 uh, would be very happy to give my contribute to make jobs and technology and something useful in this great country. You do realize that people from Italy are going to watch this video? It is not a big issue, but uh, you know, I, I, this is what I think, so this is, this is what I like to say. So. And, and this was uh, one question. And, and I, 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 th I think we are all set at this point. Yeah, your Italian friends, the, they won't... No, I, I estimate them. Uh, you know, in Italy, I am, uh, uh, we are investing in the research because uh, we will give a half million to, to the University of Bologna for R&D. But uh, the manufacturing and the development of the technology and uh, the manufacturing and... Uh, um, all this uh, will be made in the United States of America. And we, we already are making this in the United States of America. The, the one megawatt plant uh, is in uh, production in the USA. Any final comments you'd like to make? Well, uh, my final comments is that uh, you made a very good job. A very, very highly professional. Con congratulations.